Okay, are we all ready? This morning, the Luzerne County District Attorney's Office and the Pennsylvania State Police Troop P Major Case Team filed homicide charges against Richard Walski for the murder of his wife, Patricia Walski. This arrest followed an extensive multi-jurisdiction investigation examining the finances, lifestyle, and physical evidence to find out who was responsible for Patricia's death. And it all points to the same person, Richard Walski. This investigation began on August 13th when Larksville police were sent to conduct a welfare check due to the lack of communication from the Walskis. When police arrived, they immediately noticed the odor of human decomposition and in a search of the residence, uncovered Patricia's body behind a door that had been secured with screws. But, uh, on August 14th, forensic pathologist Dr. Charles Siebert ruled the cause of death to be a gunshot wound to the head and the manner of death homicide. On August 13th, 2020, Walski's Chevrolet Colorado pickup truck was discovered underneath the West Nanticoke Bridge with the keys in it and the vehicle unlocked. It was reportedly parked there since August 11th and uncovered by police on August 13th. A smoldering campfire was found nearby. A search by police did not locate Richard Walski. The investigation revealed that Walski was not an additional victim of homicide. The investigation has shown Richard Walski was alive and well and moving about between Luzerne County, Tunkhannock, Wyoming County, Berwick, Columbia County, Binghamton, New York, and Henderson Harbor, New York. The investigation has also shown Walski liquidated items of personal property prior to the homicide. The items included a vehicle, firearms, his fishing boat, and the engagement ring of Patricia Walski, which he sold on July 30th, 2020. Police are seeking the whereabouts of Richard Walski, who is now wanted for the murder of Patricia, his wife of 11 years. Walski should be considered armed and dangerous. Investigators have undertaken numerous investigative steps to locate Richard Walski since August 13th. To date, Richard Walski has not been located. Anyone who has any information or has been in contact with Richard Walski since August 13th should contact the Pennsylvania State Police Troop P. Wyoming at 570-697-2000. A, re a reward for information leading to the apprehension of Richard Walski is available through PA Crime Stoppers. And at this time, I'll open it up to any questions you may have. Well, at this point, I can tell you that we have done extensive searches for Richard Walski, and he has not come up. We have not found him. So um, there is a possibility, but he could be somewhere roaming around. That's why we are asking people, anybody that has any little bit of information, that may be something that is very relevant to our investigation. So if they could come forward and provide law enforcement with that information, we would be very appreciative. At this point, we can't talk about that. Correct. There, he probably got a, a few thousand dollars from the sale of the personal items, and it's more detailed in the affidavit itself. Somebody, somebody's alien bed. What do you want to say to those people? If that's a problem, 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 if that's a problem
Well, it all depends on the circumstance, and that's why we're here today to ask for anybody that may have information um, to his whereabouts, about his whereabouts, to come forward and um, work with law enforcement so we can um, hold him accountable for his actions and seek justice for Patricia and her family. We don't know. Well, uh, based on the, the uh, information that we've received from his cell phone and um, Patricia's cell phone, there has, haven't been any activity, but you never know. We're still searching locally, and we have um, we are going to be providing all this information to um, different areas like New York to keep an eye out and seek information from people who may have um, information about his whereabouts in other locations. You're saying, it, based on the information we're providing, it doesn't seem like he would be a suicidal individual. Is that what you're saying? I, and you know what? We have all this information. We are continuing to search for him. Um, and um, But we, it, at the end of the day, we don't know. So we are seeking any information that anybody may have um, that could lead to, if it is that may, he may have taken his life, that, that we would be able to locate him or... Um, that if he's roaming around and someone's assisting him to please come forward and let us know um, so we could um, hold him accountable. Again, it, there's always a possibility. He, so we are continuing to conduct searches to try to locate him. He could be in the woods somewhere. We don't know. At this point, we can't really discuss that, but what you've read in the affidavit is what we could provide at this point. Obviously, it, it, it is easier when the leaves fall that we could find um, it, that it is easier to see pe individuals in the woods or items in the woods. But um, again, going back to what I said initially, this was a uh, an investigation that was extensive with multi-jurisdiction um, and multi-jurisdiction uh, uh, police departments and working together and trying to examine the finances, the lifestyle, all of the information that led us to making the arrest today. So it took us some time to get here today. Um, they are, they're hopeful that we will be able to have more answers after this press conference today. Um, hopefully that we can track down where um, Richard Walski is and hold him accountable. And that's, that, ultimately that's what the family wants. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I can't hear. Yes. Um, it, 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 we were able to locate uh, Yukon, the, the uh, Richard and Patricia's dog. Um, of course, it helps to be able to locate an item that was taken from the, the home, so it helped us to um, identify that he potentially was roaming the woods, we believe, but he, these are all just uh, uh, guesses at this point. We, again, going back to we are asking for information that anybody may have, even when it comes to Yukon. If they um, will please call the state police, let us know if they have any information that could lead to uh, locating Richard Walski. Um, 
Um, we did track where Yukon was uh, traveling around in the woods, but that was the extent of it. We do know that he was an avid outdoorsman, um, so that's why you never know he could still be in the woods. He, he knew how to, um, to fish and survive in, in, in the uh, wild. I can't answer that. Okay. Well, thank you very much for coming, everyone. And please, the, you guys all have the, the picture of Richard Walski. Please get that out there for the community to see.